Welcome to Transform Tutorial Part 2 using the Alpha Transform app. Let's check out our equipment inspection form on the Alpha Transform mobile app. To view our form, we first need to install the Alpha Transform mobile app. Go to the iOS or Android App Store. Once there, simply search for Alpha Transform, or if you prefer, you could use your mobile device to scan one of these QR codes that are shown on the screen now. Now select Alpha Transform from the search results and install the Alpha Transform app. Now we'll need to log into Alpha Transform. So launch the Alpha Transform app on your mobile device. When prompted, log into the Alpha Transform app. Use the same email address and password that you used for your Transform Central account. Let's create a new equipment inspection form now. When you have logged in, you will see two tabs, Existing Forms and Add Form. Existing Forms displays a list of the forms you have filled out. Add Form is where you can create a new form from a list of forms. Let's create a new equipment inspection form. Tap Add Form. On the Add Form tab, you should see the equipment inspection form you created in Transform Central. Create a new equipment inspection form by tapping the equipment inspection form. After tapping Equipment Inspection, Transform will open a new blank copy of the Equipment Inspection form. Time to fill out that inspection form. So tap the Equipment ID field. This opens the text editor. Now tap the line at the top and type A123 for the Equipment ID number. Now in the header you will see four buttons, a check mark, an X, a left arrow, and a right arrow. The check mark saves the changes to the field and returns to the form. X cancels changes to the field and returns to the form. The left arrow saves the changes to the field and navigates to the previous field in the form, while the right arrow saves the changes to the field and navigates to the next field in the form. In addition to using the arrow buttons, you can also swipe to navigate to the previous or next field in the form, just by swiping left to right or right to left. Now tap the check mark to save your changes and return to the form. Next, tap the type of equipment field. The type of equipment list will slide into view. Tap on power supply to select it from the list of equipment types. Then tap the check mark to save your selection and return to the form. Let's assume we have inspected the power supply and found that it works. Tap yes for the equipment is working field. Now tap the Equipment Location field. The Location Editor captures your current location. To do this, tap the Get Location button. Capturing the location can take a little time to get an accurate reading. When the process completes, a map will appear with the captured location. If you are in an area with no Wi-Fi or cell service, the map won't appear. Don't worry, Transform will still accurately collect the GPS coordinates without a Wi-Fi or cell connection. Note, in order to capture lo your location, Alpha Transform must have access to your device's GPS. If location capture fails, open your device's settings and make sure the location services are enabled and have been granted to Alpha Transform. Now, tap the check mark button to return to the form. Then tap the equipment photo field. Tapping the photo field will open the camera so you can take a picture. Take a photo of a nearby object. When you are asked if you want to use the photo or retake it, choose Use Photo. Note, on some Android devices you will see an X and a check mark instead of a Retake and Use Photo. So now tap the check mark button to save the photo in the form. The last thing you need to do to complete the form is to sign the inspection signature field. Tap the inspection signature field to open the signature editor. Using a stylus or your finger, sign the screen. Note that in addition to the signature, the date and time of the signature was also captured, shown below the signature on the form. When you are done, tap the checkmark button to save the signature and return to the form. Now that all the fields have been filled out, we can exit the form. Tap Done to return to the list of forms. You will notice that you are now on the Existing Forms tab after finishing the Equipment Inspection form. 
If you want to make changes or add additional information to a form, double tap the form or select the form, then tap the edit button at the top of the screen. So we filled out the form and all the data is saved on the mobile device. Now it's time to upload that data so we can see it in Transform Central. Before we do, take a look at the blue line next to the form. The blue indicates this form has not yet been saved to the Transform Cloud. Forms can have one of the following states. No line means form has no changes and has been uploaded to the Transform Cloud. Blue line means the form is new but has not been saved to the Transform Cloud. Orange line it means form has been modified but has not been saved to the Transform Cloud. Black line, form has been deleted but has not been removed from the Transform Cloud. And lastly, red line, form contains errors that must be resolved before it can be saved to the Transform Cloud. Forms are saved to the Transform Cloud using the Upload Now button. Tap the Upload Now button to upload the form to Transform Cloud. After a few seconds, the blue line will disappear indicating the changes have been uploaded. Let's go back to Transform Central to see the uploaded form in Transform Tutorial Part 3, Managing Forms in Transform Central.